Alright, this is going to be a video on the uh, LiftMaster 895 Max 3 button premium remote control. I love this remote. Oh, by the way, this video goes out to LiftMaster Pro. Um, but stay tuned because I've got a couple of things that I need to talk to you guys about. Um, so here, I'll pop this open. Um, you know, this is a really great, great unit. You get your clip here. This is different from the original 373P clips in the way that it doesn't have that little oval uh, indentation or opening in the clip. Uh, hang on a second. This thing doesn't have that. Um, let's see here. This is a great remote. I love the fact that you can program it to any door opener. The LEDs are nice. I love the color combination. That that goes great. Um, clip. Fairly simple to install. Clips right in there. Now the one thing that I'm kind of disappointed about is this does not have the motion sensor built into it, it's just the remote. What I think you guys need to work on is an 896 Max uh, 3 button premium remote control. Basically this with a motion sensor, oh, that's great, this with a motion sensor. This is great the way it is, but I think with that one little touch you could make it that much better. Because, I mean, let's see here, where is it? Oh yeah, this is how much stuff I've got. I've got some of the classics, the uh, 96 and the 91. Um, a couple of 81s. Um, oh yeah, and I tend to kind of modified this one. Put a battery LED in it. Um, here's my, uh, my better 81. But here is my 373P. Oops. And oh yeah, please go back to the newer, or the older style keyless entry pads. I've got this 376LM here, brand new in the box, and I don't plan on using it. Just because it's like a collector's item now, I guess you could say. Um, but anyway, you know, with these two remotes, there's a huge difference. Come on. and it's that. This one stays silent while this one glows. Or not silent, this one stays illuminant, this one doesn't. You know, this is a great remote, I love this. I think you, need, you should try and work on incorporating the motion sensing technology in the 373P, put it in the 895 Max, make it an 896 Max, or something like that. Um, but yeah, other than that, that this is just, it's a great remote. Um, other things that I need to talk to you about. Um, let's see. Your products. Like, some things are changing. And it makes me kind of think that you guys are trying to cheap, to cheap out on things. Like the wing nuts on the safety sensors, I know those have changed. Um, what else? The wing nuts on the safety sensors have changed. The square rail, that's the biggest concern of all of us. You guys really should go back to the sectional T-rail. The square rail makes the unit sound really loud because it's hollow and it vibrates around a lot. Um, if you're not really planning on going back or you're not even going to consider it, you should probably consider trying to put some sort of an insulation inside the rail because it is hollow that will try and stop with the vibration and uh, make your trolley a little bit better because I've had problems with disconnecting the door from the opener and the trolley will literally fall off of the rail um, during manual operation so those are a couple of things that you guys should really consider working on um, also if you need like feedback or anything um, don't be afraid to contact us. There are many garage door opener enthusiasts on YouTube who love your products. Um, and, uh, don't be afraid to, uh, contact one of us to, um, 
you know, ask our opinion on something or whatever. If you need anything, just, you know, like, as far as an opinion or whatever, let us know and, you know, we'll give it to you. But, um, those are the things that I really think that you should work on and, uh, just try to make better. Um, there was something else, but I can't think of it. Oh, the chain. It kind of feels like it's a lighter gauge. Um, so those are just a couple of things that, you know, I think you should work on. Don't end up like Genie. Okay? Just, please, that's all I'm asking. We don't want to see you guys fall down. Um, fall down from the top. So, yeah, um... If you have any uh, questions or anything, feel free to let me know. And if you want, um, send me a personal message, and I will give you some of the usernames of other YouTubers who are interested in your products. Uh, thanks a lot, and see you later.